You know, while everybody has their own opinion about who will go number one or two in the draft, you know, the top several players that'll be taken, but most will agree that the number one talent in this year's draft is Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. And the reason is quite easy. 155 catches, 2,613 yards, and 31 touchdowns. And it should be pointed out that most of that came in the last two seasons. The guy is a complete monster. And with that said, let's just jump right into the film. Now, the main thing that I look for in receivers beyond speed, you know, even beyond route running, is the receiver's tendency to never stop moving. If it looks like the play is over with, you know, he never quits moving. Maybe he'll cut back. Maybe he'll go a different route. Maybe he'll try to extend the situation. On his very first play right here, that's exactly what Harrison does. He actually is wide open right here on this play. And, and right as he hits this point right here, the pressure starts to get to him as well. And he cuts back out and then back across the end zone. And the quarterback continues in his motion and kind of motions to the other receiver to go. And he's got a one-on-one -on -one situation over there as well. And right as he's motioning to the other receiver to go, Harrison turns and boom, there's the pass across the end zone touchdown. Now, if you watch it back from this angle, you can't really see uh, Harrison making his move down the field, but you can definitely see him make the catch at the end. Here we are in a different game against Michigan State, and here's a play that if the quarterback would have lofted this just a little bit more, this would have been six points for sure. But he throws it just a little bit short. Harrison goes up to try to get it like any, you know, any other 50-50 ball, and the ball's just a little short and hits the defender in his back. You watch it back from this direction, you can see that the, just it being just a little tiny bit short leads the ball to hit right on the defender's helmet there and just bounce off to the side. Otherwise, as I was saying, that's six points. If that ball is another, I say, a foot and a half off of, you know, off of the ground, that's a touchdown pass. You know, looking at a lot of Harrison's film, I really didn't see a whole lot of this right here, which is a, uh, a drop pass. And he probably would have only gained a yard or two here, but he drops the ball before he can actually turn and make any type of move upfield. Now, here's a play that we really don't see ran a lot in the NFL any longer. There are a couple teams that, that have a couple of shifty players that might run this still to this day, but... Uh, as you see this play start off and it's a reverse and he gets the ball in the end around and I mean makes a couple nice little little moves there on the side and the block set up perfectly for him to be able to just hop right into the end zone. I love to see a guy that's not only big and strong but also quick enough to be able to go out on the outside like this and you know make a couple of moves be, be shifty enough to be able to get into that end zone for a touchdown like that. And of course at the end of the day the thing that we love to see from this type of player right here, the 50-50 ball right on the side of the end zone. Now, in the NFL, will have to get two feet in there, so that may be something that, you know, he may have to work on continually, but he actually looks like he might have had two in there anyway. This is a nice little route right here. He's able to get the catch and get his feet in and get out of bounds there. You watch it from this angle, you'll see just a perfect little route, nice, perfect little pass, first down. Nice little comeback route here, uh, played to perfection, I might add. He makes the catch, does his little thing, gets the first down, spins out. He actually ended up gaining about six or seven extra yards there after that catch. That was actually kind of nice. And then, of course, your nice little basic slant pass that you love to see down here by the goal line. This is the bread and butter for a big guy like this. Literally the play that's going to pay him on Sundays. I don't always focus on short, intermediate passes, but... I do like to point out that this kid, you know, he can do it all. He can make all of these catches with ease. Now, here's a great example of there not really being anything there and him making a couple of cuts and making something out of this, actually getting a first down out of this and uh, moving the chains down the field on a play that probably would have, you know, maybe lost yardage if a different player would have gotten his hands on the ball. Who knows? Nice little block there on the edge, though, that, that really opened that play up. And then, of course, these big receivers, the question always is, you know, the taller they get, it seems like the slower they are. But in this play right here, 
Harrison shows that maybe that quarterback doesn't have enough arm to really get this out ahead where the ball should have really been. Because if this ball would have been where it should have been placed, this would have been a touchdown easily. As it turns out, this is a humongous gain, but I feel like it could have been a lot more because that safety was beat right there. He was beat. If that ball goes just a little bit deeper, I'm almost certain, you know, because he has to pull up. If you watch it, he has to pull up right about there to stop and get the ball. If he doesn't have to pull up, that's a touchdown. If that quarterback is able to hit him in stride, that's a touchdown. He has to slow up just a little bit to make that catch. And if he doesn't have to slow up, that goes all the way. Now, in this play right here, I don't know if this was a communication issue or what was going on here, but the quarterback, as soon as the play starts, immediately looks over at Harrison. Harrison looks like he's maybe trying to hold his guy up for a second for something that's coming around that side and never really looks for the ball until the ball's in the air. And as you see, it turns into an interception after that. Now, let's play right here. Harrison's up here at the top. Now, the quarterback chooses to go to this receiver across the middle right here. But as you see in the replay, he really misses out right here because Harrison at the 20-yard line right there is wide open. And if he gets hit right there, I'm saying maybe he gets down to like the 12 or the 13. Now, as it stands, it's still, you know, a, a reception here. And they got a few yards out of this but nothing in comparison to what they could have had up top up there. I mean, he's cutting across. He would have been wide open right there. Another play here where the quarterback actually chooses to go short, but if he would have been paying attention to Harrison Long, he would have seen what the rest of us saw right here, which is a wide open man long about right there. If he would have just looked right there, Harrison was coming across the side right there, wide open. That's probably a touchdown. There's nobody else there. As you see, He's pretty much got the safety beat going across the middle, and there's nobody else back there to stop that. This is a really nice catch by Harrison here. I don't think he was expecting the ball when it came, but when it gets there, he actually makes a really nice catch with his back arm. That's a harder catch to make than it appears to be. As you see from the other angle, he hits him right in that, that, that back shoulder right there, and he spins back around and makes that. That's a beautiful catch, actually. Great ball placement by that quarterback as well. The only one that had a chance to get in that was Harrison. You know, when I first started watching Harrison's film, I had no clue that this guy could block as good as he can. But as you see from this play right here, he definitely knows what he's doing as it pertains to blocking in key moments. And he makes a key block right there that springs his guy for an extra, what, three or four yards there? Here's another play where Harrison has to slow down to make the catch. And if he doesn't have to slow down to make the catch, this is likely points right here but he has to slow down right about there as he reaches back and makes a really good catch actually the defender actually hits him before the ball gets there but uh long at about the the 40 i guess that's about the 44 43 yard line is where they actually end up calling that dead at but as you see the the, the flag does come out right there if you watch it back from the other angle you'll see the reason why the play was a little short the quarterback had to actually move up in the pocket because there was some pressure coming in and it affected his pass i'm certain of it and in, in the process harrison makes the catch gets the penalty to add on at the end there but that could have been so much more honestly i absolutely love short plays like this that you think that the receiver is only going to get you know a little three four yard gain and he puts his foot in the ground and says no it's going to be a little bit further fellas as he does on this play right here. Harrison makes the catch right here and then turns back outside, makes a little spin and runs to the side of the field for the first down. You watch it back from this angle. It's just a nice little spin move. And it's just a race to the sideline at that point. And he gets to the point he needs to first down. Nice little route here. He makes a little move to the inside, cuts back to the outside. Pass comes. He's able to get up there and get it first down. I also like to see on these plays right here where these receivers are able to come down with the ball and then when the, the defenders are all standing there kind of fighting at them, they're able to, you know, get another yard maybe or so there. And as the defender's ready to take him down right there, he's still fighting. I love to see that. Again, a lot of this film showed me that this guy is not afraid to do the dirty work. He gets out in front, makes a block there. And as you see, that springs this play right here. I mean, you know, that block leads to his guy getting another seven to eight, ten yards there maybe. His quarterback misses him on this play right here. They still get the first down, 
but he definitely misses him coming across right there as when he gets right to this point right here the receiver's locked in on his guy coming this direction but as you see the safety's hips are already turned right here and harrison's got the inside right here and it's just a case where the quarterback's eyes were locked on his man across the middle and didn't even look at harrison there if he had of that's points these little comeback routes are almost always effective with these big receivers, especially the ones that have a little bit of juice that can go long. Defenders get caught with their pants down all the time on these little things. Now this one turns into a pretty big gain, but it almost has a disaster at the end of it when uh, he gets peanut punched at the very end. Luckily for him, the Georgia defender didn't get you know his hands on that ball before he went out of bounds. You see from this direction, that ball just squirts right out just as he gets to that sideline and bounces around. And as I said, luckily enough for him, they didn't get their hands on that ball before they went out of bounds. Now, the very first play I showed was a play where I was saying that I absolutely love it when these receivers never stop moving. When they, you know, they feel themselves, maybe like the, the, uh, the, the route is ending or in a situation where it's not going to work. And they cut back or they cut out or they go a little deeper and try to work the route a little bit more. This kid's really good at that. And I noticed it several times in his film that, you know, he, he does it and, and it works to perfection. Not every single time, but when he, when, you know, when the quarterback sees it and actually sees him, it's definitely a situation where it works a good 65 to 75% of the time. Now in this situation right here, the quarterback actually works the magic by getting away from that defensive line up there, that, that Georgia defensive line that had some serious freaking dogs on it. And he gets away from those guys and he's able to reestablish himself right as you know he gets to the sideline right there and make just a perfect throw. As you see from this side, he I mean, he just does some magic man stuff right there and cuts in and out of traffic, gets around them, comes back to the side and just makes that throw, man. And it's, it's a perfect throw. And Harrison makes a big time grab. Another thing I noticed that Ohio State uh, did with him across a lot of his film was when they get down in situations near the goal line they would kind of just run him across the flat or run him down the center or across the side and let him just take all of the defenders out in his wake so to speak so that the play could set up behind him and have less players to contend with and as you see right there he comes across he takes a corner and a safety with him and then the running back is able to come back across the field make the catch and he's able to just run back to the edge of the end zone and score the touchdown that doesn't happen if harrison doesn't you know take two guys with him across the field right there he never really was you know a, a, the target or a target for a scoring play but the defenders are so in tune to watching him that he draws them over that direction and in the end, they get the touchdown. Listen, make no mistake about it. Whoever ends up with Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to get one hell of a playmaker. We'll have to wait till, uh, till Ohio State's Pro Day to actually see how fast he is, you know, clock speed, because he didn't do all that at the combine. But I don't see a scenario where this guy falls out of the top five. There are a lot of wide receiver needy teams out there. I can tell you that if the New York Giants get a chance to get him, there's no way that he slips past them. You never can tell what's going to happen, you know, leading up to the draft. People get crazy over this quarterback. I guess there's a chance that another quarterback could find his way into the top five as well and perhaps maybe bump Harrison down a little bit. It'll be interesting to see how all that works out, you know, leading up to draft day. At any rate, let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Y'all take it easy. Peace.